So I just got done watching Billie Eilish's third year Vanity Fair interview and I was reading her chart the other day and I thought it would be really interesting to share some things that I see in her chart that kind of I think point to astrological reasons why she has risen to fame so quickly especially within this year. This is just going to be like a quick random short chart reading for Billie Eilish. So firstly she has a Sagittarius stellium and most of the planets are in her 10th house. So Jupiter has been hitting her Pluto, her Venus, her Midheaven, and her Sun this entire year. And I think Jupiter has been like expanding her reputation because it's been hitting the area of her chart that we're all seeing. So it's been expanding the ways that she has kind of set herself apart from everybody else. I mean, that's kind of why everybody makes such a big deal about her is because her music really is different than what anybody else has seen. Now her moon is conjunct her Neptune and Aquarius and it's in the 11th house. It makes her unique on her own with the Aquarius moon, but in the 11th it's kind of connected to what the collective is desiring in a way. And it's trying her Saturn in the third in Gemini, so it's making it easy for her to creatively express what she is feeling from like a broader perspective. I think Sun conjunct Midheaven in itself is an aspect that is already going to make a person's identity part of their reputation. So that's why people get such an honest, authentic vibe from her, is because her identity is already with her media personality. Like there's not really anything inauthentic about it. What I think is actually really interesting is that her north node is actually opposite her son and it's in her fourth house. There's an interview that I watched of Phineas saying that Billy has a hard time writing lyrics to music so that's what he helps her do a lot. I think it's because how they say the north node is like your destiny but it's also like a challenge to rise up to your north node. I think it could just be challenging for her to separate herself from her public image, to go down into herself to figure out the words that she's trying to say. But at the same time, I don't want to say this and think that it's true. I just think it's just interesting that even though her identity is so wrapped up in what she's portraying, not in a sense that she's like lying about herself because I don't think that's it. I just think that her true calling is in a deeper part of herself that has to do with the words that are supporting that public image, like the inner truth of who she is that is what is supporting what she's portraying, if that makes any sense. And what I think is interesting is that Phineas's moon in Gemini is actually conjunct her north node in the fourth house, so I think that's why their her sun is opposite his moon and it's just interesting that they're kind of a dynamic like a creative dynamic but she's like the performer she's like the star of it because it is her work but if you look like behind her phineas is there and he's what is really like the driving force of everything that she's doing so I think it's interesting that she's able to convey this North Node through her public image because it's like when it's them two alone, she's able to tap into those words and that inner truth and then shoot it out for the world to see and hear and enjoy <laughs> on a much broader scale because it's in Sagittarius and it's being expanded. But I think it's all coming from that Gemini, North Node, Moon, Trine, Saturn place that is about the inner words and messages that she's giving.
like the, the inner stories, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But it's no wonder that her and Phineas have such a good relationship because they have like so many trines to each other. Like sun opposite moon is really good. I think her moon is conjunct his Jupiter. <laughs> uh, both of their Mercuries are trying to each other, so they just kind of understand what the other is trying to say. I think that helps with their creative process. Yeah. Hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching.